Hello from my organic farm. Those were the sheep. Today we're going to talk about water. What if water wasn't so awesome anymore? Like the Yellow Sea in China. Or this image from Miska Henner with a satellite view of cow feed lots including the runoff into the adjacent lake. So 97.5% of all water on Earth is salt water, meaning that 2.5% is fresh water. About 70% of all fresh water is frozen in ice caps, and most of the remaining amount is present in soil moisture or in deep underground aquifers, um, which are unaccessible for human use. So this leaves 0.007% of all water on Earth accessible for human use. Yet we continue to pollute our only available fresh water resources. Eutrophication is the addition of excess nutrients into a water body. But don't worry, because Canada has in place some of the best water regulations. The Ontario Water Act was first implemented in 1990. Unfortunately, I was unable to find any peer-reviewed figures for eutrophication occurrences in the province of Ontario, which doesn't make much sense as it is still of great concern. Guaranteed, we have all seen a body of water which looks like this. But in theory, this should be considered a violation of this act. The Great Lakes St. Lawrence River Basin Sustainable Water Resource Agreement of 2005 that the water of the basin are shared public treasures and the states and provinces as stewards have shared duty to protect, conserve, and manage these renewable but finite waters. Where there are threats of serious or irreversible damage, lack of scientific certainty should not be used as a reason for postponing measures to prevent environmental degradation. This all sounds pretty good, right? Regardless of how much policy we are seeming to implement, it is not stopping the root of the problem. That is, the current paradigms of water management are framed into specific actions and facilities, meaning that we can't follow our own rules when it comes to water health slash sustainability the way we are currently thinking about water. Environment Canada concluded from a study in 2013 that nearly one-third of sites assessed were classified as eutrophic or hyper-eutrophic. They also found that 36% had increased total dissolved phosphorus, the current BC Water Act depicts the use of water as a harvesting of resources. It was created over a hundred years ago, primarily to stimulate farming and mining development. At this time, water was largely seen as an infinite resource. We should no longer see it this way. So, Lake Erie has a problem, and that problem is re-eutrification. That's right. In the 1960s, increased phosphorus inputs caused the lake to become eutrophic. In 1972, phosphorus reductions led to rapid decreases in phosphorus concentrations and phytoplankton biomass and reductions in hypoxia, or lack of oxygen. Since the mid-1990s, cyanobacteria and benthic algal blooms increased and reductions in available oxygen also reoccurred. We are generally seen as a water-rich country, but the idea of overabundance is an illusion. This amount of water is needed to perform ecosystem functions and services. But we have not changed our mindset from the idea of infinite water. The most famous example of our ability to squander water resources is Lake Chad in Africa. Once the sixth largest lake in the world, the entire water basin covered about 8% of the continent of Africa. More than 30 million people rely on it. From the 1960s to the 1980s, the lake shrank from 22,000 kilometers squared to about 300 kilometers squared. Over the past 40 years, the lake has decreased by more than 90% in area. This shrinkage was largely due to persistent droughts coupled with increased irrigation withdrawals. This, in combination with poorly designed dams and unsustainable water operations, resulted in inefficient water use, leading to the degradation of adjoining river channels. 
Poor irrigation practices and misuse of chemical fertilizers have also contributed to the poor state of the soil in the water basin. So I guess the takeaway message for today, treat water with the respect it deserves. <laughs>